the one thing that honestly has been probably our biggest topic last year that hasn't changed much, but is on the back burner when we're talking about your top two centers and your franchise goalie, uh, is the blue line. Um, what do you think the future is for Logan Stanley, Billy Hanala, and Declan Chisholm with the Winnipeg Jets as it pertains to next season? You know, it's an interesting question. Um, if we go based on what we saw last year, I think, I don't know. I, and I know those people who love Billy Hanala. It's not my decision. It's not my say. It's not like, you know, but it just doesn't look like he's on the in the top six or seven depth chart. And until they move a guy like Logan Stanley, who, you know, a, clearly asked for a trade last year, he doesn't see himself in the mix. He doesn't view himself – as a, as a seventh defenseman who's getting in and out of the lineup. But we've also seen the Winnipeg Jets be reluctant to give guys their wishes, their trade requests, right, if it doesn't benefit them. And the reality is, is that, you know, I get emails all the time being like, what could the Winnipeg Jets get for Logan Stanley? Clearly not that much or clearly not not to the, you know, to the benefit of the Winnipeg Jets or at least not to what Kevin Sheveldayoff thinks because it's not like they haven't tried. He's been the guy that – you know, has been a sprinkle in on potential deals, stuff like that, but they just they just haven't panned out. The value of his is not super high, and whether the Jets are just unwilling to accept, you know, moving on from a guy they drafted and traded up for in the first round, you know, this organization isn't exactly one to admit its faults, um, clearly. Uh, so maybe that's kind of keeping it up. I really do see a situation that if they cannot, you know, if they cannot deal a guy like Nate Schmidt, and I know a lot of people want Nate Schmidt gone, you know, he's got a he's got what two or three more years left on his deal. That's pretty expensive price tag uh, for him. Maybe a team, you know, maybe a team would want him, but they certainly would not probably swallow the entire contract. So the Jets, we've we've seen in the past, have had you know been adverse to you know paying for for players that aren't on their lineup to to, to swallow any of that money. Um, that will depend, but uh, you know, barring barring an opening, I could easily see a, a Declan Chisholm and they and they uh, and a and a Logan Stanley sharing the seventh defensive spot that might not be ideal but i don't think you can have those two guys in your top seven because the last thing you need is is to have a johnny kovacevic situation happen again where you're just giving away a guy for nothing so um we'll see what happens that was the big that was the the, the big thing or the number one item on the to-do list last summer <laughs> unfortunately for the winnipeg jets while still a very important piece of their of their you know business this summer doesn't fall doesn't fall really it within the top five or or if it is it's the fifth fifth uh, number five after you know figuring out those four players we've been talking about so um, that would be my guess but who knows I just I, I think at this point in time the Winnipeg Jets need to find a new home for Billy Hanel if he's not in your future plans you need to deal with them problem is they've you know essentially decimated his value no one's going to be giving you know no one's going to be giving you know top top dollar for a guy who who the Winnipeg Jets can't seem to get get in on their blue line. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But I, I really do think Billy Hanel is more, more, most likely gone. Logan Stanley as well, if they can find a deal. But outside of that, I think you have to give, give Chisholm an opportunity with, with the team next year. And, and you know, and if, that, if Logan Stanley's still with the team, you're going to have to probably share duties with him. Well, I, I mean, listen, even if you take Stanley out of the mix and say that he's moved at the draft or whatever, even with Stanley not there, Dylan Sandberg needs a contract. He's a restricted free agent. And then you've got Morrissey, Schmidt, Pionk, Dylan, DeMello, and Capo Bianco signed for next year. So there's seven defensemen right there. I mean, even if you trade Stanley, there's not the room right now for both of those guys who will be exposed to waivers if they get dropped on it. And that is definitely not the way I think the Winnipeg Jets want to uh, to go about it, especially as you brought up considering what happened with Johnny Kovacevic uh, last year. 